Welcome to iLecture Online and here we're going to take a look at the difference between permutations and combinations or combinations and permutations. Who knows what is the difference? All right, well, the easy way to look at it is that permutations, the order matters. Combinations, the order does not matter. All right, what does that mean? Well, let's do an example and see if we can figure it out. Our example is that we're starting with four letters, so let N represents four letters. There's four of them. A, B, C, and D. Now, what we're going to do is ask ourselves the question, how many combinations of three letters can you make with four letters? And so, three letters is K, K is three, N is four. So, the way we work that out is that it's the combination with N letters, K combinations. All right, or how many combinations with three letters? So I should say that again. So, we have a total of N letters, in this case, four, and we're going to take K of them, three of them, to see how many combinations we can make. And the equation is that it's N factorial divided by N minus K factorial divided by K factorial. So this is equal to N, since there's four letters, we go four factorial divided by N minus K. Well, N is four, K is three, that would be four minus three factorial times K factorial, and I guess we don't need parentheses here, uh, so times k, which is 3 factorial. All right, now we simplify that. So 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, divided by 4 minus 3, which is 1 factorial, which is simply 1, times 3 factorial, which would be 3 times 2 times 1, so 3 times 2 times 1. Notice that this cancels out, so the answer is 4. That means there are four combinations you can make taking three out of four possible letters. So, let's see if we can figure out how to do that. Well, take the first three letters. So we have A, B, and C. We can make A, B, and D. We can make A, C, and D. Or we can make, let's see, what else don't we have yet? A, B, we can make B, C, and D. And of course, we can interchange those. We could put B, A, C, C, A, B, all that, but that's still the same combination. So there's only four different combinations, just like our formula indicated. Now, how do we find the number of permutations? You have four letters, and you want to know how many ways can four letters, N being four, occupy three spaces? And the order does matter in this case, because we're looking for permutations. There's three spaces, K. The way you find that is the Permutate the number of permutations when you have n possible letters and k possible spaces is equal to the product of n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 and so forth until you get to n minus k plus 1. k being the number of spaces, n being the total number of letters. So in this case, that's going to be equal to, let's see, let's start with this one and see how big that number is. n is 4. K is 3, so 4 minus 3, I'll just go ahead and write that down, that would be 4 minus 3 plus 1. So 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 1 is 2, which means this would be 4 times 3 times 2, or 4 times 3 times 2, which is equal to 24. There's 24 different permutations. Let's see if we can do it by hand and see if we can figure that out, what they are. So. We know there's 24 solutions here. Let's see if we can figure out what those 24 solutions are. We have four possible letters, three possible spaces. So let's start out with, we have A, B, and C. A, B, and D. A, C, and B. A, C, and D. A, D, and B. And A, D, and C. So we have all six permutations, starting with the letter A. Now we should have six more permutations starting with the letter B. So we can have B, A, C, B, C, A, B, A, D, B, D, A, B, let's see here. We can start with A, B, A, C, C, A, A, D, D, A, and C, ah, we can still have C and D, and we can have B, D and C. Whew, I couldn't think of the last two permutations. Now we have 12. Now we should have six more permutations with the letter C. So we have C, A, B, C, B, A, C, D, A, C, A, D, C, let's see, we can have D, B, and we can have C, 
B, D. All right, the next six. I don't have any duplications? No, I don't. So there's 24. Now we're going to have six more permutations starting with the letter D. D, A, B. D, B, A. D, how about A, C? And D, C, A. And then we have D, C, B. And D, B, C. And there's all 24 permutations. Notice the difference now. Again, permutations, order matters. You can just rearrange them. Even though you have the same pair of three letters, you can rearrange them in lots of different ways. Another way of looking at it is, in each combination, there are six different ways in which you can arrange the letter. How, can you, how, can you, how do you come up with six? Well, with three different spaces, it's three factorial. That means three different ways in which you can rearrange the letters. So six plus six plus six plus six gives you 24 permutations, but only four combinations. Hopefully, that will definitely clear out the difference between permutations and combinations and how to calculate the number of permutations and how to calculate the number of combinations. Hopefully that helps, and that's how you do that.